Hey everybody, Cruise Man here. Today we're going to compare the Cena 50S and 50R to the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. Which one is the better communicator? So many of you have probably seen my review of both the Cardo Pack Talk Bold, maybe about a year and a half ago, and the recent review of the Cena 50S. And a lot of you have put in comments on my YouTube video saying you wanted to see a comparison uh, between the Cardo and the Cena, which one's the better system. And so today I'm going to just kind of talk about what are some of the similarities of the two systems and what are some of the differences of the two systems so that you can make an intelligent decision when you go to buy a Bluetooth communicator. Now, first of all, I want to start out by saying both of these systems are excellent as Bluetooth communicators go. I would not hesitate to recommend either one to you. Uh, but there are a few differences. They are subtle, but there are a few differences. And for some of you, uh, it could make a difference of which one you choose to purchase. First of all, I'm going to give you my opinion based on how much I've used these systems. I've used the Cardo for a little over a year. Uh, I've just been using the Cena for about six to eight weeks. Now, I previously uh, used the Cena 20S but the Cena 50S and 50R I've been using for the last few weeks. So I have a little bit of frame of reference on how both systems work, what the advantages are, and what the disadvantages are for someone like me and perhaps someone like yourself. But these are simply my opinions. They're not necessarily scientific facts. So take everything I say with a grain of salt. Somebody else is going to have a completely different opinion. First of all, both Cardo and Cena have good sound quality. I am not enough of an audiophile to really tell the difference between the two. I think they both seem to do very well. The Cena does seem to have a little bit more volume than the Cardo in my tests. They also both offer a mesh intercom and a Bluetooth intercom. You have the choice of the two. And I'll explain a little more about the mesh intercom. The mesh intercom from Cardo is not compatible with the mesh intercom from Cena. So if you wanted to connect a Cena to a Cardo, you would have to do it through Bluetooth. Both of these units can connect to your Goldwing if you're riding a Goldwing. I would assume that's the case with any other motorcycle that has an audio system with Bluetooth that allows you to connect. But as far as my 2018 Goldwing, I have no trouble connecting the Cardo or the Cena. However, there are some differences in the way they connect and how reliable those connections are, which I'll talk about in a minute. Both the PacTog Bold and the 50S and the 50R allow you to connect to your smartphone. They also both offer an app on your smartphone that allows you to control many of the settings of the headset. Both of these units allow you to connect to your phone for music. Uh, now, if you're going to be connecting to your Goldwing, uh, you probably would not use that. But if you don't have a Goldwing, you can use your smartphone for music through the headset. Both of them also offer an FM radio for built-in music. They can both be connected to a GPS on another channel so that when a GPS navigation uh, audio comes through, it will mute your music audio from either your Goldwing or your smartphone. Both of these systems offer voice commands. So you can say, hey, Cardo, uh, to check your battery or other functions, lower, raise the volume. Uh, on the Cena, you say, hey, Cena and then you speak the command that you want it to follow. They're both very similar in that regard. Now, both of these systems claim to have a one-mile range. Now, that's in perfect conditions. Uh, I apparently did not test either of these in perfect conditions because I've never been able to get more than about a half a mile, but that's in-town driving with power lines and all kinds of other obstructions. So you take that for what it's worth. 
if you have one or both of these systems and you have been able to get up to one mile of distance between communicators effectively, please put it in the comments down below so that you can let people know what your experience has been. Both the Cardo Pack Talk Bold and the Cena 50S can be removed from your helmet for charging. You cannot remove the 50R. Uh, you can maybe unfasten it if you're using Velcro or hook and loop fasteners and you can kind of flip it down, but pretty much you're going to be charging the 50R while it's still on the helmet. And both the Cardo and the Cena allow you to charge the unit while you're riding. So if you have a USB uh, connector on your bike or a converter, you can keep the uh, Con the power connector on the unit and it will continue to charge, giving you virtually unlimited use. You don't have to rely totally on the battery. So what are the advantages to a Cardo Pack Talk Bold over the Cena 50S or 50R, in my opinion? Probably the most obvious advantage is Cardo claims the Pack Talk Bold to be completely waterproof. So if you're riding in heavy rain, or even I assume if you were to drop it in water, uh, it would not damage the unit. Uh, Cena does not make that claim. It is water, you know, Cena claims water resistant uh, and probably won't have a problem. But if you're totally convinced that you need a system that's waterproof, uh, you're probably going to have to go with a Cardo Pack Talk Bowl because Cena does not really claim anything about being waterproof. And if water did get inside and damage your Cena, uh, it's unclear as to whether or not your warranty would cover that. However, I can't find an IPX rating on the Cardo website for the Pack Talk Bold, but Cardo does make that bold claim that their system is completely waterproof. Now, Cardo has a mesh intercom technology that allows up to 15 riders in the group, in the mesh group, whereas the Cena mesh with Mesh 2.0 can have up to 24 riders in the mesh. However, in my opinion, it's unreasonable to think you're going to have 24 riders trying to communicate with each other on the same channel, it's going to get out of hand. In fact, if you have more than three or four riders trying to talk over each other, it's going to be a nightmare. However, if you were, for example, a motorcycle tour company and you lead a tour group of, say, 20 riders or 24 riders, then you might have to use something like the Cena Mesh 2.0 because it will allow you to have that many riders in that group. And with Open Mesh, which we'll talk about a little bit more, uh, you can have virtually an unlimited number of riders in your group. Another advantage of the Cardo Pack Talk Bold is it offers this sound by JBL. So their speakers are manufactured or licensed from JBL. And for those of you that are true audiophiles, uh, you'll probably appreciate that. It's very likely that you actually do get better sound quality with the Cardo Pack Talk Bulb because of that. Like I say, in my particular case, I can't tell the difference. Uh, I have a close friend who uses Cardo Pack Talk Bulb with the JBL speakers, and he is just blown away by them. He really loves them. So if you're a true audiophile, you might really appreciate the fact that they do have these uh, speakers powered by JBL. The Cardo Pack Talk Bolt also has a smaller form factor than the Cena 50S. You can just tell by looking at it that it's much smaller in size. And that can be important for riders like me if you have a 2018 to 2020 Goldwing uh, and you're very limited on trunk space, it can make the difference of being able to close your trunk lid with the communicator on the helmet. With the Cena 50S and even the 20S, I have to remove the communicator because it makes it, the helmet stick up just enough to where the, hel uh, the uh, lid trunk lid will not close. So that's another consideration is the form factor. Now, what are the advantages of the Cena 50S and 50R over the Cardo Pack Talk Bold? Well, first of all, 
the Cena platform offers two different styles of communicators. The 50S is more of the traditional Cena style with the large jog dial. You know, it's, it's a larger form factor, but it has the jog dial interface. It's got the pop-up antenna, uh, and it uses the Cena cradle uh, to, you know, hold it on your helmet and gives you all that additional functionality. There are several different features with the Cena with that cradle mount that you don't get with the 50R or with the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. So you have the ability to add external uh, ear plugs, uh, you know, uh, earbuds. Uh, you also have the uh, ability to add an external microphone. So those are some advantages that you have with the Cena that you don't have with the Cardo. Now the 50R is a little smaller and a little more looks a, looks a little more like the Cardo Pack Talk Bold. And it appears to be, I would say, more weatherproof than the 50S. So if you're an adventure rider or if you're concerned about riding in the rain, I'm going to say that 50R is probably a better choice than the 50S because it has the rubber buttons rather than the jog dial. And it also has the uh, sealed uh, microphone and speaker cables rather than a cradle with all these contacts. These contacts are a place that water could get into and cause a problem. Also, the jog dial is probably not sealed for weather, so that could be an entry point for moisture or water. The Cardo unit, by comparison, is, you know, it looks completely sealed and uh, it has a little roller dial instead of that jog dial. So, uh, again, the waterproof thing is a Cardo advantage. Uh, the Cena, though, they claim it's very rare, and I'm sure it's true, it's probably very rare that a Cena headset would be damaged from water. But they, they came out with that 50R for a reason. And the apparent reason is for adventure riders who might be riding through rain or they might go through a riverbed and water splash up and get on the unit. So just be aware that if you are an adventure rider or if you ride a lot in the rain and you want the Cena system, you're probably going to have to have the 50R be a good choice. Another advantage that Cena offers is this Mesh 2.0. Now this is unique to the 50S, the 50R, and now the 30K can be upgraded to work with Mesh 2.0. And what that does is not only give you a little bit better sound quality through your intercom, but it gives you the ability to use what they call open mesh. And I can't explain enough how big of an advantage I think open mesh really is. Because what open mesh does is it gets rid of the necessity to pair up people in a group. So for example, uh, about a year ago, we rode in a group with uh, riders who, some had 30K, some had the Cena 20S, some had the 20S Evo, and it took us a good 30 minutes to get everybody's headset paired up so that we could go on a ride. With open mesh, anybody that has a headset that can use open mesh, you basically walk up and you're connected as long as you're on the same channel, and there are nine different channels. So it is super, super elegant in the way it works. Uh, it's a huge advantage, I think, that Cena has right now because Cardo doesn't have anything like that. With the Cardo mesh system, you still have to pair the headsets with each other. It can be a little clumsy, a little clunky, and, uh, you know, just the open mesh is a better way to go. Now, if you have a headset that does not have open mesh, mesh 2.0, you can connect through a Bluetooth bridge. Uh, for example, if you have a Cena 20S or a 20S Evo, you could connect to one of the riders in the mesh group using your Bluetooth uh, communication ability. Uh, but again, it's, this is all in theory. I've never seen it done. I'm sure it's very clunky and probably not an optimal way to connect. And that's why Cena has come out with this plus mesh device that allows you to connect a Bluetooth headset very seamlessly into a mesh environment. I'll be reviewing that in the coming weeks. 
Now, the same is true in Cardo. If you uh, wanted, say, to connect a Cardo Pack Talk Bold to a Cena 50S or a Mesh 2.0 environment, in theory, you could do it through Bluetooth. You could connect to one of those headsets using a Bluetooth connection, and it would be a bridge into that Mesh network. But I've never seen it done, and um, if any of you out there have been able to get that to work, please put it in the comments down below and explain what the pros and cons of that was. Uh, like I say, it's clunky enough just to get two headsets to connect together in a normal situation. Another advantage that I think Cena has with the 50S and the 50R is the USB-C connection, which offers really rapid charging. Uh, the 50S and 50R can be fully charged in about an hour, and that's pretty incredible. Uh, the Cardo, if it's drained, uh, it can take a couple hours to, to fully charge it. So even though that's not bad, it uses that micro USB connector, and I'm not a big fan of that because it, you have to have the connector turn the correct direction, and I never have it turn the correct direction to get it to go in. Uh, I just think USB-C is a much, much better connector physically. So I really like the fact that Cena used the USB-C connector on these new headsets. So let's talk a little bit about pairing these headsets to your Honda Goldwing, assuming you're riding a Honda Goldwing. Uh, both of these units, Cardo and Cena, will pair to your Honda Goldwing. In my experience, the Cena pairs up a little bit easier than the Cardo. Uh, sometimes I it have to take two or three tries with the Cardo to get it to pair and complete the connection with the Goldwing. However, once the Cardo is paired with the Goldwing, I think the connection seems to be a little more reliable. For example, if I stop to get gas, I turn the bike off and I leave the headset on. Uh, it will connect about 50% of the time when I turn the bike back on. A better situation is to always turn the bike on first, then turn on the headset. So if you come to a stop and you like leaving your headset on, just be aware you may not get a connection back to your Goldwing. The Cena 50S, on the other hand, and 50R, they both connect up really well uh, to Bluetooth. I have no trouble pairing them but I do lose connections quite frequently. Now, I most notice this after I've charged the unit. When I remove it from my helmet and I charge it and then I put it back on the helmet, the next time I ride the bike, it doesn't connect. That doesn't mean I have to repair it to the Goldwing, but I do have to go into the settings, select the headset, and hit the connect button, and it will then connect back to the Goldwing. I don't know why it does that. Sometimes you can resolve that situation by turning the headset off and back on and just cycling it, and it will then reconnect to the Goldwing. Bluetooth communications just are not perfected yet on either one of these. Now, I have also noticed with the Cena that when you connect it to the uh, telephone app to change the settings, it sort of has a Bluetooth memory. So when you unpair it from your cell phone using the app, it will immediately re remember the pairing to the Goldwing, and it will reconnect the next time you ride. Uh, it will connect back to the Goldwing. The Cardo, by comparison, when you pair it to your phone to use the app, it loses the pairing to the Goldwing. So you always have to repair it again, go through that whole pairing process every time you use the app on the Cardo. That's been my experience. Now, if you have a Cardo Pack Talk Bold and you've had a different experience, please put it in the comments down below. But for some reason, when I use the app with the Cardo, I always have to repair it to the Goldwing when I'm finished using the app. The Cena, it seems to remember the Goldwing and it reconnects or repairs automatically. The Cena is easier to pair with other headsets simply because it has this open mesh technology. So when, for example, Don Smith and I want to go for a ride and we want to have communications, as long as I'm in open mesh and on the correct channel, which it defaults to channel one, then when, as soon as I'm within range, Don and I are connected automatically. I don't have to pair up anything to Don.
I don't know if this video really helps you make a decision one way or the other. Like I said in the beginning, I think both of these are excellent headsets. Um, I think they're both well made. They both have a nice uh, feel to them. The Cena is a little bit larger as far as the 50S. Even the 50R is a little bit larger than the Cardo. It just looks larger and feels larger. Again, all of these are great headsets. All of them, I think, provide good audio quality. Uh, they pair reliably or as reliably to the Goldwing as anything else I've tried. Uh, I would not hesitate to recommend either one. I'm really looking forward to your comments. Which do you use? Do you use a Cardo Pack Talk Bolt or another Cardo product? Uh, or do you use a Cena product? Put this all in the comments down below because that's going to help our viewers make their decision uh, because I'm just one person with one experience. Um, with all of you out there, you all have different experiences. I'd really like to know what you think about Cardo Pack Talk Bold versus Cena 50S, 50R, or even the other Cena products. So anyway, thanks again for watching today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you on the next Cruise Man's Reviews. If you enjoyed this video, please take a second to give it a thumbs up, and don't forget to click the subscribe button and that little bell icon so YouTube will notify you of new videos when they become available.